smell of blood is heavy in the warm, thick air, which can only make matters worse. Shades don't eat for nourishment. You can't starve them out. Their appetite feeds only their monstrousness, the lifeblood stolen from their meals making them stronger and deadlier and hungrier. The faster they strip flesh from bone, the faster the curse can work to reanimate the victim in its own image. And when they die, when someone kills them, whatever's left is too far gone to return to the earth. Hungered, the shades start to shriek. They're trying to bite me, but the thick leather of my boots is holding them back for now. The more noise they make, the more appear, all gleaming dark scales and glowing ember eyes. I kick and stomp, scrambling back, until I can finally prop myself up with the door. They're gathering around my feet now, trying to climb up my legs, and I have to keep moving in an awkward jig to keep them off. One leaps straight up in the air, landing on my hand. It gets distracted, lapping up my blood, and when I try to fling it off, it lands in my hair. Its paws tangle in the short curls, and it struggles like mad, tiny jaws snapping. I finally manage to throw all my weight back with the door, and sunlight floods the storeroom. The shades hiss and shriek, but they don't stop attacking me. Not now that they've drawn my blood. I think I'm screaming now, too. I half stumble, half sprint out into the grass, both hands fully occupied trying to get the shade out of my hair. It bites my fingers again and again, thrashing, and until I finally work it free snap its neck, and throw it into the grass. Its cohorts swarm over it like it's just another leaf in their path. My sword. I have to find my sword. I squint against a dazzlingly blue sky, waiting for my eyes to adjust, running blindly in the direction I think I left my sword. I finally spot it, dangling from a branch dripping with scarlet flowers. A shade lands on my back, knocking me off balance. More nip at my heels. I can see how many of them there are now. It's a full swarm, maybe enough to kill me if they'd synchronized back in the storehouse, but no match for me in the daylight with my blade. It's messy and awkward, and I get bitten and scratched, but I slowly manage to cut them down. I have to get them all, to kill the infestation before they start going after bigger prey. Before the Esperiano came from the other side of the world, there were no rats on Caciquen. They brought them on their ships, with their weapons and their diseases and their insatiable greed. The Shade's curse is theirs too, though that came later. I curse every favorable wind that brought those ships to our shores hundreds of years ago as I clean up the mess they left in their wake. Thank you.